L'Oreal Evercurl Hydrocharged Leave-In Cream. I believe in embracing your natural hair texture instead of forcing it to be what it's not. For those who have thick, wavy hair like I do, you might want to try this leave-in cream. I put on a small amount after shampoo and conditioner, concentrating on the bottom half of my hair, and it controls frizz and enhances my waves without being heavy or sticky. To control frizz even more, always an ongoing battle with our high humidity, and get silky strands, I also run through a little argan oil when hair is completely dry. Miss Shaw Green Tea Lip and Eye Makeup Remover I wear waterproof eyeliner 95% of the time, and washing my face alone doesn't take it off completely at the end of the day. This is the second variety of Miss Shaw Lip and Eye Makeup Remover I've tried, and it easily removes all traces of stubborn makeup, even paint like red lipstick. There's no sting or sliminess with this one unlike some other removers I've tried. Morph 350 Eyeshadow Palette If you watch YouTube beauty videos, I'm sure you've seen this Nature Glow Palette by Morph that vloggers rave about. The hype is real with this you get 35 large pans of smooth, pigmented, blendable eyeshadow for the price of two single pans of higher-end eyeshadow. You'll get pretty much every shade of brown you could need in this palette with some beautiful golds and oranges. I love it as much as I love Morph's 35T palette, which has purples and taupes. Victoria's Secret Satin Gloss in Caramel Shine I guess anyone who likes lip gloss must also like the ones by the brand that has perfected the sweet, sexy pout. This is described on the Victoria's Secret website as sheer rosy beige with shimmer. Pretty on its own if you like nude lips, or top off a lipstick or lip stain with it. A small amount is all you need, and the shine lasts longer than many lip glosses I've tried. Tastes like candy, too.